Hey guys, good morning from down at the Washington Monument where it is blazing hot today, blazing hot here in D.C. Uh, Biden is going to be heading out in just a few moments, but there's been a delay. I just saw the scout helicopter Eagle has landed uh, just down over here. That's a delay holding area. And uh, that's always good for a photo. So we're going to wander over to Eagle's uh, resting place, and then we'll uh, grab a bike and head over and catch the motorcade. I don't think we'll catch Air Force One today. The weather is such that they're taking off uh, a different direction. We wouldn't be able to see them if we went out to Andrews. But we might see them up in the sky. Who knows? All right, let's go explore. Let's get a bike. So here you see an example of the fireworks fence that went up. They have a big fence to protect the fireworks. Eagle still on the ground it looks like let's see if we can get across the street Good. yeah she's still on the ground a lot of tourists here it's to be. okay we're going to swing around this little service road back here which should take us behind hopefully these fences have been reopened yeah it looks like it yeah there is eagle on the deck is that eagle one back in service i think it is So that's Park Police Eagle 1. Eagle 1 just got back in service. Eagle 2 has been making up for it. Uh, they're in a delay. They're just going to hold here until they get the word from the Secret Service to go up and provide overwatch for the motorcade. So we're just going to hold here for a bit. All right, the helicopter's still there, but we've got a shooting across the river in Roslyn. Uh, we got one shot by the police at the subway station. We may go over there. Uh, I don't know when this guy's going to take off. So we got the helicopter. We did not get Biden. Uh, it just couldn't get back in time, but I like helicopters anyway. And let's get over to Roslyn, see if we can see this uh, carjacking suspect shot by Metro Transit cops. I don't think he's going to make it. Let's see if we can get any footage over there. It's just across the river. Okay, guys, we're at uh, Roslyn, Virginia. Mike Wilson and Lynn, and somewhere down here was our shooting. Down and see what we can see. I think they've transported them. Okay, we're on scene. This is where the shooting we think took place down here. They're reconstructing everything. Crime scene is here. I think it was Metro Transit Police that shot the guy. Their subway station is nearby. Let's see if we can read their board. Closing the roads down. I gotta get out of here. Okay, so we're uh, going around back now. Got all the photos we want from the front, but from the back, I think I can get a better view, actually. Looks like a carjacker had an accident or bailed out of his car near the subway station. He then took off running, and he started grabbing the doors of any car he could find to try to get into a car. He got to a what looks like a garbage truck, and uh, when he grabbed the garbage truck is when the police caught up with him and they shot him. So we're, uh, well, let's go see what we can see up here. Okay guys, we are downtown. We're on a bike heading to the White House. It is really hot. It's like in the 90s already. And it's only like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I guess it's 10.30. Um, the White House, as you can see straight ahead, has been surrounded by riot fence, technically called anti-scale fence. But they only put them up when there's a potential for riots. So we call it riot fence. I think it's still open though. We can go inside. 
up there we've got a, no, let's go up that way, we've got a wolf pack. Wolf pack of DC towing. They are clearing out all the cars for motorcades and the shutdown that's going on. Yeah. They have locked down 8th Street up here and they're going to pull all the cars that are parked on the streets up here. It's going to be a traffic nightmare for a few days. Let's see what we got. Yeah, there's the tow trucks. One going there. They want no one on these streets. Let's see if we can get a picture. That's the new police car colors. That's pretty funky. And you can see even down on this side street, we got more tow trucks operating. They are a wolf pack looking for cars to yank and crank. Okay. Well, the vice president is doing it. Literally, she should be here by now because there's a 10.30 uh, briefing with the president on security. But I suspect that's going to run late, so she's going to run late because there's no sign of her arriving anytime soon. So we've got fences up. They're not up inside. Once you're inside, it's pretty cool. Huh. Oh, it's because they're on that side? Oh yeah, they're just gonna block off everything. Yeah, they're just gonna, yeah, they blocked off the whole park. So there's no fences inside here. The fences are out on the other side of the park. They're like securing this whole entire area as a secure zone. Lafayette Park is gonna be basically entirely fenced off all the way up to H Street. But for the tourist's sake, they let them in every now and then. Oh, we got the NATO flags up, interesting. You only got the NATO seal on one side, though. Cheap flag. Let's get a picture. So this is actually a real pain because some of the flags are broken, some of them are twisted. That one's at half staff because it's blown down. And then the NATO flags only have the seal on one side, so you can't get the full thing. Uh, that one's all tied up. I'm just trying to find one flag I can take a picture of. Some of these are not bad, but then I'm shooting into the sun. These are all crooked. That's frustrating. And let's go down the street for a bit. You can see the fences all the way around the Eisenhower building. There's lots of gaps in it. The summit doesn't start until tomorrow, I think. Oh, these flags are blowing more in the wind. Should come down here and get a picture. You can see they all get tied up. That one's blowing, but it's crooked. It's hard to get all three flags blowing, which is what the photo editor would want. Anyway, you still see the fence making its way around the building. I wonder if it goes how it goes on the south side here. Oh, it looks like they haven't finished. So more fencing to go up tomorrow, it looks like. As you can see, there's big piles of it. Comes in on pallets. This is a four-way pedestrian walk, yeah. So the idea of this fence is that it's too tight to get your fingers. I mean, you can get your fingers in there, but you could probably cut them off. And wow, it looks like they're going to put up the entire ellipse will probably be covered in fencing, given that they're here in pallets. It's going to be rough for these uh, hot dog vendors, I guess. Yeah, they've got them down here. So they're definitely going to surround the entire ellipse area with this riot fence. And they're not messing around. Well, while we can, let's go on the ellipse, yeah? The summit goes on till Thursday, I guess. Maybe it's Wednesday night's the last night. So, 
kind of restricted. I'm not covering the summit. Um, they didn't want me. They just kind of get the pool photos. So I have the next couple of days kind of free while everybody else I know is photographing handshakes and stuff like that down at the convention center. You know, we should go down to the convention center and see what it looks like right now. Oh, tourists. Yeah, they already got the fence up on this side of the ellipse, heading all, all the way down the Constitution. It's still open right now. My God, they've even fenced off the World War I memorial. That's just silly. <laughs> and I'm sure the contract said it. Fence this memorial off. Probably because they got a bunch of heads of state staying in the hotel across the street. Oh yeah, another guy with the definition of bike lane being a place for me to park my truck. Yeah, we're still working on the fence over here. Still securing it. Anyway, let's back in the bike lane. Now these don't have the big cement barriers. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So here's the uh, orange plywood we filmed the other day. You guys were asking about why is it orange. Someone told me that orange plywood means that it's uh, fire retardant. And that's why it's orange. So, sounds like a pretty... And I looked it up on, like, Home Depot, and yeah, if you order, like, fire retardant plywood, it is actually orange. I guess that's the stuff they drop out of the planes when they uh, go after forest fires, maybe. Or something like that. Let's go down to the convention center, yeah? So, this is New York Avenue heading out of the White House. One of the major state avenues. And this will take us pretty much right down to the convention center which is uh, down here at 9th Street. And technically it takes us to the Apple Store, but whatever, we can figure it out. Over there is New York Avenue Presbyterian Church. That was Abraham Lincoln's congregation when he was president. It wasn't this actual church building, but it was this congregation. Now it's also a major homeless outreach center. And uh, you get a lot of fire calls there. So this building here, this is the National Women in the Arts Museum, and they just renovated this, or they're still renovating. It's taken like, God, four years, five years, but it's a museum for women in the arts. It's actually supposed to be pretty cool inside. I might go inside because it's pretty hot out here. That's like one of the only McDonald's in D.C. I've never been to because it's kind of filled with a lot of homeless and it's a bit sussy. One day we'll go in there. All right. We're good. Mike's changing. Oh, what a hole. Good chunk. Now, there is a bike lane here, but it's not a pleasant bike lane filled with potholes and utility scars and, of course, construction vehicles because, like I said, bike lanes also equal parking spaces. This building here on 1100 New York Avenue, this used to be the Greyhound bus station, this Art Deco building. It's really quite cool. They um, renovated by building some massive structure behind it, but they kept the Art Deco facade. And if you go inside, it still says like Greyhound on the floor and like ceramic tiles. They moved the bus station to a really crappy part of Northeast. And it was basically a bunch of shipping containers. And then now I think the bus station is part of Union Station up in the parking garage. Intermodalism, yeah? Ah, let's keep going down the convention center. And over here we've got more riot fences, though these are a pretty gray color, sort of black. Maybe it's a different company, ARX Perimeters. And they're gonna seal up all of this area, a hotel over there, and across the street, that is the convention center. That's where the NATO summit is gonna be held. In fact, I think we've got big old yeah, we have big old NATO banners hanging over the convention center. There they are. OTAN. Let's get some pictures of this. And we just heard our first of many motorcades this week. One of them's coming into the Marriott Comarque down here, which is a kind of nice hotel. I don't know which world leaders are in town yet. I think most of them are coming in tonight or tomorrow. But as you can see, the fences go around this hotel as well. And we should see motorcade. Yeah, there it is. A bunch of police cars escorting some dude. 
Corn Head Estate. Let's uh, roll down this street. Mercedes? No, Cadillac. State Department Cadillac. Diplomatic Security Service. They have a tag on their car. All right, well, let's head this way. Okay, yeah, back in front. We got the welcome signs up. That's the Apple store across the street. That used to be the Carnegie Public Library, and Apple took it over, renovated long term lease kind of thing. Yeah, let's get a picture of this sign. Okay, so yeah, that is our formal assignment of the day is to take pictures of NATO flags, and we'll submit those as. NATO preparation photos to the photo agency. Now, well, we're done. We're free. Let's go find a fire or something else, or let's just go wander around DC while it's not too oppressively hot. That's coming later today. Yep, they've got the snow plows ready. Snow plows will become barricades tomorrow when they block off the streets. We are on K Street, the infamous K Street. Anyone who knows Washington parlance. K Street means lobbyists. K Street means lawyers. K Street is where all the big interest groups and lobbying firms used to have their offices. And they would come down from K Street to lobby on Capitol Hill and lobby. Uh, it's not really the case anymore, just like Fleet Street in uh, London is no longer the home of the tabloids. K Street really isn't the home of all the lawyers anymore. They've moved to cheaper or nicer accommodations around the city. But the name still sticks around. You'll see the use of the word K Street all the time in political conversation. Let's get off K Street, though, and go back to the White House. <laughs> and it is pretty much the same down here. The VP is due to arrive soon. We thought, like, a half hour ago, but maybe they're pushing it back. It's supposed to have a briefing at uh, 1030, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. All right, that's the White House today. We do have credentials to go in, but all there is today is a press briefing. I don't think that's going to be very interesting. Eh, maybe we'll go.